Good evening. Salaam alaikum and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. My name is Narayani. I'm a member of the BNI Royals chapter in Qatar. I'm also an education coordinator and a training ambassador. I'm a passionate educator and higher education mentor. It is indeed my pleasure to introduce the panel discussion today. Uh, and before I go into that, I would like to give a very brief introduction about how BNI is organized in Qatar. In Qatar, we have 155 members spread across five chapters with over 80 unique categories. We are an energized group of individuals who have passed reference generating over 88 million Qatar Riyals of business in the past 12 months. Our ambition is to get to 200 members in the next 12 months, generating over 100 million Qatar Riyals worth of business. Let me go ahead and introduce the topic today. So the topic today is how do you use BNI to scale up your business? Normally people assume that you come into a network and you network, you make good friends, you invest in good relationships and that's it. There is no real growth. But is that the reality? With the BNI core of, uh, principle of givers gain, we are seeing givers who are gaining in each and every chapter in BNI. Let me introduce you to the top givers in our five chapters today. So first, I would like to introduce Mr. Ayman Al-Kudwa, our panelist from the BNI Royals chapter. He is the launch director consultant for the brand new Lucille chapter and member of the year 2020. Ayman, please unmute and introduce yourself. Good afternoon, good evening from Qatar. Thank you, Ms. Narayani, for the wonderful introduction. Of course, my name is Ayman Al Qudwa, networker by nature, travel expert by profession, more than three decades in aviation and travel industry, work in Qatar, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, and UAE market. Currently, I am the manager of Falcon Travel, and we are a proud member of BNI. Falcon Travel is a member of BNI Royals, BNI Winners, and BNI Al-Maha. In addition, I am a launch director consultant in BNI Qatar team for building new chapters with the support and guidance from of, uh, our, of Mr. Mohammed Shabib, our educational, our sorry, uh, executive director of BNI Qatar. Thank you. Back to you, Ms. Narayani. Thank you, Ayman. We are going to our next panelist, Mr. Bibu Shridhar. He's a member of BNI Phoenix chapter, a lead visitor host and support ambassador. Mr. Bibu, please unmute and introduce yourself. Thank you very much, Narayani, for the introduction. Good evening, everyone. My name is Bibu Shridhar, general manager for New Printing Company. Although my company name is new, but we are the oldest and the one of the largest print packaging companies based out in Qatar. I was a past vice president and currently the lead visitor host for the Phoenix chapter in Qatar. And I have also taken up the role of support ambassador for this region. Thank you. Over to you, Narayan. Thank you, Bibu. Let's move on. Uh, we're, we'll, um, it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Bilal El Salam, member BNI Almaha, our newest chapter and ch currently the chapter president. Dr. Bilal, over to you. Thank you, Narayani. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, when and wherever you are. This is me, Bilal, edupreneur, lecturer by nature. And I do have my own application called EduBees. I would like to show you something that I don't like networking because I love networking. I am the president of BNI Maha chapter, and I'm here today to share some tools, tips, and techniques in how to grow your business. All to you. Thank you, Dr. Bilal. We move to our next panelist, Mr. Mansoor Moedin, member of the BNI Winners chapter and the current chapter president. Mansoor, please introduce yourself. Thank you so much, Narani S. Kumar. Hello, BNI Qatar and UAE. Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, everyone, and Asalaamu Alaikum. It's my proud honor to represent the Qatar region in this panel discussion, where I share the virtual stage with some of the finest BNI members who have proven their worth on scaling up their business through BNI. I'm Manzoor Moedin, representing firefighting and fire alarm category in BNI 
winners chapter and currently serving as the chapter president my company name is genius and i may not be that genius like all my fellow panelists and bni members i was also fortunate to be a founder president of bni falcon chapter a few years ago that's me looking forward over to you narayan thank you so much manzoor last but not the least we have mr shabir mohammed a member from the bni pioneer chapter our first chapter actually and support ambassador shabir please go ahead and introduce yourself good evening bni qatar and uae thank you very much ms narayani for the nice introduction and thanks bni for giving me this opportunity i am shabir mohammed from jas business systems I'm a member of BNI Pioneers chapter representing the IT category. We provide all kind of IT solutions like IT hardware, cyber security solutions, software solutions, UPS, IT infrastructure and data centers. I was the past day VP and current MC member of Pioneers and holding the role of support ambassador. Thanks and back to Ms. Narayan. Thank you very much, Shabir. I'm going to stop sharing because we don't have any uh, slides anymore. We have stories, we have great takeaways, and a lot of sharing happening between the five panelists. So let's gear up for that. So when before we start, I mentioned that the core value of BNI is givers gain. So I really want to introspect and reflect whether givers do actually gain. Do they do that? I'm not really sure. Although I've been in BNI for almost a year, but let's hear from our great givers because these are the members who have been. cherry pick from each of the chapters for being great givers so let's hear how they use bni to scale up their own business how did they gain whether personally professionally as a company as an individual and let's hear back from them so let's start from shabir shabir can you go ahead and share a bit about how did you use bni to scale up your business and grow in this field thanks narayani again so before i speak about how i scale up my business let me talk about how i came to bni i think in the beginning of year 2020 i attended as a visitor in a bni meeting at radisson i was so impressed with the systems and were planning to join immediately but in march 2020 when the lt team informed bni is moving to online platform i was in dilemma to join or not but because of the value i have seen i joined without hesitation once i joined i found the importance of bni core values i got the energy in the pandemic situation by bni activities like weekly meetings one to ones and trainings and i have just completed uh, almost a year i mean i just completed a year in my bni journey now in one word i can say i am so overwhelmed to bni with the awesome experiences i have such an amazing journey gave the importance of trust lifelong learning networking business connections and many activities so that helped me to grow my business so all these seven core values encourage me to stick on them in many areas of my professional and personal life immediately after joining bni i sat with our executive director mr mohammad shabib and he guided me a lot on how to use bni in very effective manner to build the business i actually sat with him for many sessions and uh, he guided me a lot on restructuring of the company to a different level the world class trainings bni provides also helping me on restructuring my business the trainings are not just for bni you know the bni trainings can be applied to any of your personal or professional life bni help me add values to my clients like uh, by adding extra services through my bni team on their categories and i have just uh, i have my first choice to check in bni for any type of requirements i actually started recognizing my company resources and started bringing positive attitude to them and also by applying the bni core value innovation i diversified to many verticals which is more potential in the market i made lot of good relations through bni which made me many friends and also entry to many community institutions uh, etc and then i should not miss to say the value of givers gain 
the doing one to ones encourage me to give my best customers to my bni friends and that encourage them also to give me more referrals overall i started practicing all four values of bni which gave me lots of scale up in my business so bni is scaling up my business thank you narayani thank you so much lot of takeaways uh, let's move to mr aiman now i'll summarize the key takeaways in the segment at the end aiman over to you let's hear what you have on this uh before i start i would like to ask you ms narayani and ask the panelists mm -hmm. being i what about is being i about time management or task management narayani i think it's a combination of both but you need to enlighten us further on this aiman so go ahead let's hear your take on this so please allow me okay to share with you what i have learned from him i learned that being i is about task not about the time if you don't know if you don't do your task you don't own your time for me in being i because everybody is asking me amen from where you have time for being i i'm telling them now and i'm sharing my secret being i spark and travel spark and travel is being i it is one body and one task and same task in my 24 7 365 before during and after the pandemic i learned from mr mohammed shabib and from mr bj shah i learned the golden message the golden key to my success in being i they told me amen do one things million times and don't do million things one time and that things is about helping and keep helping others back to you ms narayani perfect so i think um, most probably shabib and bijay's uh, calendar will be full asking for one to ones for more nuggets of information after this wonderful so keep helping and you will get help as well that's aiman's story uh, moving on to dr bilal please go ahead and share what you would like to talk about this particular topic on scaling up your own business being one of the newest members in bni thank you again ms narayani as entrepreneur with education where i call myself edupreneur my application for online tutoring was born and meant to be international that cannot be achieved without approaching great members who are seeking to help and also we are seeking to help them and build relationships together let me tell you something about what people say when we ask them come and join this community this group the largest referral group in the world to be part of it and participate in giving they will ask what should i do in order to be part of that shall i pay something i told them it is zero say impossible that you pay zero but i tell them you will pay zero it is membership fees but the benefits that you get from the bni platform the bni community you're on mute dr bilal yeah. it is more the benefits that you get in from me and i is more than you expect i will share a short story about how i scaled my business through bni which i'll come to that conclusion too i started helping each others which when then helped me in growing my business by asking them can you please refer tutors teachers trainers to register in my platform i got now more than 300 tutors teacher trainers registered with us in tusu 
I couldn't realize one day that this membership, it is really, really helping and we are getting more than we deserve. I approached one of the platforms and they gave me a quotation of 7,000 Qatar Riyal for three, 30 days to recruit only 100 tutors. And with membership fees, it is less than that. For one year, I got 300 tutors registered with us. One more thing I would, do, I would like to share is BNI is with I. It was international. I always tell people, don't forget the I. We have to collaborate with other members from all around the globe. Our payment gateway is BNI. The public accountant is BNI. The solicitor is BNI for our TUSU app. With collaboration, things can come with a lot of treasures. Narayani, back to you. Thank you so much. So you just brought out the international outlook. BNI is in over 73 countries with 281,000 members. So you can find anybody in any professional uh, classification worldwide as well. Thank you for bringing out those points, really enlightening. Over to you, Bibu, now. Uh, if you can share a bit about your journey with BNI. And also, I know that you joined during the pandemic. So how was it joining BNI at that point of time? Uh, thanks a lot, Narani. Thanks a lot. Well, yes, I was, I was, uh, I joined BNI exactly during the uh, pandemic. So it has good positive and negative. Positive thing is that we don't know what happened before the pandemic or we were not used to the personal meeting thing. So my start was quite quick. Uh, what I would like to see is what do we buy in BNI? I would say the answer is we buy exclusivity, which means we buy one exclusive seat as you will be the only person in your chapter to represent your uh, category. We also have the commitment from the uh, from other 35 plus fellow members, or it depends on your chapter size actually, uh, a commitment that they will work for you to build reference. Simply put, it's it's just a good, it's, it's as good as having a group of well-connected and highly influential sales team working for you. Uh, it's these connections and the, and the meaningful relations that, that we make uh, will help us scale up our business in BNI. From the beginning of B joining BNI, I was so much impressed by the well-structured and agenda BNI has, uh, has, which has uh, shaped, which has been shaped for the last, uh, I would say, three plus decades. So, as a member, we just uh, need to follow them and start truly believing and living the seven core values of BNI. I would also like to emphasize on the most important tool of BNI that I feel, which is one to ones. The more one-to-ones you do regularly allows you to connect, get connected with other members. The more connections you, you make, the better you build relations. Uh, and, uh, and the better relations you build leads to trust and credibility. In BNI words, I should put it like VCP, visibility, credibility, which leads to profitability as well. In general, in BNI, we get referrals either through our weekly presentations or maybe through your ask and during the focused one-to-ones which we do along with our members. But what I noticed is the, uh, I also realized that the, the best connections are often done when one of our fellow BNI member remembers you, especially when they are with a customer and then he makes the immediate connection. Uh, he vouches for us and he assures the customer that, that we are the best in this field. These are the customers that I would say often starts from, a, let's say, a tier one kind of uh, referral and elevates to a tier two or a tier three kind of referral. But for such connections to happen, we need to first build our process called VCP. And, then, and this in turn helps us scale, us, uh, scale our business. I think that's uh, my take on, uh, on this. Over to you, Narayani. Thank you. Perfect, Dibu. Lovely to hear about having robust one-to-ones because that's how you build up a relationship. And when the member gives you a referral, they pass on a part of their reputation, right? So they are referring you and they're giving their guarantee that you are a credible individual. And that's what we do as a BNI family. Last but not the least, let's move on to Manzoor and let's hear his take on how he used BNI to scale up his own business. Over to you, Manzoor. And let's hear how the geniuses are doing in your company. Thank you so much, Narani, once again. Good evening all, especially my pa fellow panelists. I've had the privilege of being part of BNI, both pre and post pandemic. 
life has changed generally but in business you had to be your best to retain your position in the market and covid i feel is just one of the reasons as the english phrase goes when the going gets tough the tough gets going and i must say members of bni transform ourselves to be tough to break those barriers i am into firefighting and fire alarm business and every building is a prospect for me i have created a culture in our chapter that any member while entering any building be it residential or commercial be it his own office building or his clients to check who is maintaining the fire system there from the sticker that's placed on the extinguishers that narani is the power of bni my business is not just on the credibility we created but the trust that our clients have on us on our services now this is one area my bni members help me whenever they give a referral they convince their contacts to trust my services not just referrals and sales but new partnership evolved through bni new ideas from others prompted me to get out of the comfort zone add more products to my portfolio connect to manufacturers from around the world all to bni and my dear members i have reached to more clients than i ever thought of and i was learning from my fellow members on ways to penetrate the market from where else i would get all the information on all the new projects upcoming projects threats in the marketing very important i once asked a referral and before closing the sale i was advised not to deal with them for payment issue that was a narrow escape thanks to bni most importantly bni taught me not to compete but complement each other my good friend rajesh vc who is into similar business of mine who is part of another chapter is a finest example we work together we don't compete each other but we complement each other beauty of bni where we build relationships maran thank you manzoor so nothing has changed pre and post covid that's lovely to hear because manzoor was there before and after so we hear that and also the swot analysis members are doing the swot analysis for you and warning you when there is a threat right wonderful how does it get any better than that right wonderful sharing then lot more points there but i'm just focusing on a few for the time being right vcp is another point that all of you touched upon your visibility your credibility your profitability and linking it to the core values of bni definitely has helped you and let's now see how it has helped you to help fellow members So Iman you were mentioning very emphatically that the one takeaway that you had when you started the journey with BNI is that you continue to help others and keep doing that a million times over and over again so can you share a beautiful insight or a story into how did you help fellow members i'm sure you have many but i want to restrict you to just have one or two okay because we do have less time today please go ahead yeah. yes you you catch me okay i have many stories you are right and i don't know which story to share because i like all the story but i have one story i will share it what this narayani a 100 dollar bill are you giving that to me i can come no, to your office back no i'm i'm giving this for all b9 members and i want to share it with them today excellent dear fellow b9 members good evening again my story the first story in bni started with this this is my first deal i closed in bni after 4 months of my journey in bni i closed 100 dollars only but that 100 dollars with the negative and the positive of that deal make me today till i reach my million dollar achievement only falcon travel through bni royals 
Thank you, Royals. The BNI core value need from us to learn the know-how to do it, not the know-how to read it. Therefore, when the insurance man in BNI Royals approached me to arrange for him a business meeting with our group financial manager to offer his services and product. And after several rounds of meeting and negotiation, he got the deal, 150,000 Qatar Real from our group. That's it? No. Few days later, the insurance man, he called me, Ayman, I have arranged for you a meeting with one of my top clients. They are a group holding. And you don't believe it, guys, ladies, gentlemen, brother, sister. He stayed with me till I won the deal. Till we closed the deal. Till we signed the agreement. And the 150,000 investment giving to him, I gained from him through that client. 1.5 million Qatar real. Thank you, the insurance man. Well, amazing his effort, tip. his effort is not unbelievable. And being I, I knew it. And I will share it today because it's our secret. It's not my secret, it's your secret. To gain, you must give first. And only that time you start gaining more than expected and gaining without expectation back to you Ms. Narayani. Perfect. I think all the chapter presidents, two of them are here, they always echo the thought, right? What goes around comes around. And that's what is happening in this case. So Ayman did a good deed or a good referral and it, he got manifold back. That's the beauty of the whole thing. So the story is all about giving but I think, Ayman, you got more than you gave. So it's fantastic to hear that. Let's move on to Bibu. Bibu, uh, what other inspiring stories do you have of he helping your fellow members? Yes, uh, Narayani. Actually, since Mr. Uh, Ayman has shared a story, I think I should go with two stories. Uh, just, just, just small two stories. From the beginning of my joining BNI, I knew the importance of one-to-ones. And my emphasis was on constantly engaging in one-to-ones with fellow members and cross-chapter members. And I'm from a print packaging line and my connections are all within this field. Or at least that's what I, what I was thinking at that time. Or, or the best I thought I could probably give out is for someone from the events category or someone who's looking for a general connections, things like that. I never expected that I would be able to pass reference to someone whose business has nothing to do with mine. Uh, well, the notion simply changed when I had a one-to-one -one with one of our fellow members, Mr. Matthew Papachan, our constructions category guy. He described his business and uh, sa he said he's into construction of large scale warehousing, warehouses and buildings. And I suddenly remembered that one of my customer was planning to build a warehouse as he had mentioned it during my meeting with him. So I immediately called him up and I asked, I spoke to one of the directors of the company and asked him if they are still on with the project. And they said, yes, they are on with the project. So I introduced Mr. Matthew Papachin to them and assured that he is the best in his field and with over 25 years of experience and so on. Yes, of course, it took around three months or so to uh, get, to, uh, and of course, the constant follow-ups and a lot of negotiations and things like that. But finally, they decided to go ahead with Ma Mr. Matthew Papachan. Mr. Matthew Papachan, he won the deal of around 7 million uh, Qatari Riyal, which is the first phase of the project alone. So after the deal, once when I was meeting, when I was sitting with the director and I asked him about this, he said, uh, finally, they, the management took into consideration the strong reference and the trust that we had passed to passed about the about Mr. Matthew Papachan. So that that for sure is a good. Uh, uh, I think that for sure is a good example of uh, how I help someone. And another example also I would like to share is uh, one of our BNI members. They had actually connected me to one of their customers. Moving forward, the, that customer he wanted to get connected with a signage company, which again, I did from uh, through my another BNI, uh, my uh, chapter member. And we both 
when they required another hygiene person, we connected again another hygiene person also to this customer. So the customer was quite fond of this BNI thing because everyone is from BNI. We are all working along together. And so they got so much fond of BNI and now they are also looking into joining BNI. So I feel these two stories are good examples for the fact that it does not matter which business we are all from or which context we are, we are all in. The only thing that matters is your mindset and willingness to constantly look out for helping other members. Thank you, Narayani. Over to you. Great takeaways, Bibu. So we often hear people saying this BNI is not suitable because I'm in a particular niche business. But you need to just keep an open mindset. And I'm sure a lot of success stories are written based on these, this open mindset. And as you keep giving, you also get so you're getting new members in the process. So I have no doubt we will scale up to our 200 member target in no time uh, this year as well. Uh, let's call upon Manzoor again to get, uh, share his stories and inspire us further about how he has helped other members, whether it is through referrals, whether it is through getting new members in. So really excited to hear about this. Thank you, Narani, once again. Ayman had one story, Nibu had two stories, so I've got three stories to say. Well, I've been trying to bake through a company for business for many years, but something stopped us getting there. Number of meetings, quotations submitted, it was all in vain until a member of BNI, where I was a member earlier, got me to the right person at the right time. Until today, I'm continuing business with them. That is story number one. Story number two, yesterday, one member from another chapter came to meet me just to thank me from Pioneers, Mr. Srijit. A reference that I gave him three years ago is giving him continuous business even now, worth 50,000 every year and year after year. These days, when I go for business meetings, I make it a point to introduce at least two of my fellow members mentioning about their business. Whether they meet or not, or the sales may happen or not, I'm glad that someone came to know about two of my members and their businesses, which probably may translate to sales and profits later. I should highlight a couple of incidents that I cherish the most. Story number three. The first person that I mentioned, Arshad Abdul Aziz. In one of the casual chats, you know, Arshad Abdul Aziz, who was with ITL World, asked me about my contacts with schools. And I've been conducting quiz and other programs, so I had good connections. And he wanted me to connect with Billa Public School Principal for students' tour package to NASA and the like. Nothing happened in the first meeting. Even the following meeting, where I also joined Arshad. The principal asked, ITL World, if they could be an associate sponsor for an event where all the principals of Indian schools from Middle East were meeting in Bangalore in India. And Arshad readily said yes. That was the beginning. Not just Birla Public School, but many schools from Qatar, UAE, you name the countries, came forward and used ITL World for their tour. Some of them were worth a million Qatar India. Whenever we meet, Arshad gives me that signature hug and says, Mansurka, thank you so much. These days, Arshad Abdul Aziz and his wife, Masha, are a celebrity couple, influencers based in Qatar, with thousands of followers in social media, Insta and Facebook. Guess what? Arshad called me to promote my products and services for free. I didn't go and ask him. He organized and arranged everything by himself to ensure that he pays back to me for the services by a gesture. He also often gives me a platform for training his staff on regular intervals that generating additional revenue for me. Power of BNI. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I'm part of Toastmasters that has got a membership strength of 2,400 plus people in Qatar alone, but not many knew what was my nature of business. I and Ayman were connected. We never spoke what business we were into. I didn't even know that I, he was from Falcon, where I was taking the tickets from Falcon those days. But it's after joining BNI, promoting my company through social media that created an awareness and reachability to many thousands 
those masters and outside power of bni narayan thank you so much uh, it's a proven fact that people hesitate to talk about business even if they are in forums but bni is all about business so i think that's a key message i want to take away from you manzu we talk business we do business and we grow our business wonderful sharing uh, let's move on now to shabir shabir what a fantastic story are you going to wow us with okay you you can take 4 minutes but not long on that that because i see the stories are multiplying so we need to be on time right shabir go ahead with your story thanks narayani i will not be taking much time i will save your time uh, i will generally focus on a uh general help what i did so this question is actually very important how i helped uh, other bni members on their business as all of us know bni is to develop business and make more profits it's very important to help other members i'm sure that uh, when we help other members in return we will get more business i believe in the givers gain um, bni policy the gifts can be referrals or it can be advices or it can be educating the members when i speak about helping other members i would like to share the journey of my vice president role in bni i was vp of pioneer chapter for last winter term during my tenure and also now i am doing maximum one to ones and i am encouraging the members to do the same and to attend more trainings some members i help them in shaping their future presentations so that changes in their future presentations resulted the more referrals and more business any new member when i do one to one i used to advise them to complete the msp at the earliest so that will educate them and it will help them to use bni in more productive way i would like to share one of the givers gain success story uh, i will not take more stories okay so one member from another chapter i connected him to one business chain which is my client and i referred seeing the credibility of that member and his company i referred to the customer and that re referrals gives him now regular recurring business and i think it's an average of 100000 uh, riyals every month and it was a complete business conversion from a non bni member who were serving that uh, customer before and now me and that member are close associates giving business each other you know this uh, and i stress on the point i would not have met that member without bni and the first one to one with him helped us to learn each other and start business relation and i would like to conclude here i will not take much time any member can get more business by helping other members that is bni's givers gain for value thank you narayani thank you Thank you so much, uh, Shabir. That was a joke. Don't worry. You can take your time. We have enough time uh, to hear wonderful stories. The point I really want to emphasize, and Mansoor mentioned that, Shabir mentioned that, Bibu mentioned earlier as well, is the power of the continuing referral. It's a relationship that you develop. It is not one transaction that you do with a member uh, or you give to a fellow member. They keep getting returns continuously, and that is the power of relationship building, and that is our core value as well. let's move on to dr bilal so let me hear your take on how you have helped your fellow members uh, in al maha chapter or across chapters as well over to you dr bilal thank you again narayani my fellow distinguished panelists today they spoke about how to help other members by passing referrals building relationships closing business and so on and so forth but i'm going today on other direction helping members is not only about passing referrals to them or close businesses but it's also to help them to understand how the system works when i stepped up as a president for my chapter bni al maha that was one of the responsibility that i love and still i'm loving to do it with my members believe me or not humans new a natural inclination they are love to get people love getting more than giving so we don't expect that people will give with the initiatives before they get 
one of the member, she came to me. She said, I do a lot of one-to-one. -one. Is that what the BNI asked us to do? I said, yes, but that should be done with a strategy. You have to ensure your visibility by attending weekly meeting and do one-to-one, -one, but also you have to have a credibility through one-to-one. -one. She was, when I had conversation with her, she was expecting to sell to the room. And then she get to know if she give to the room and she sells through the room, then she will get more than she expected. When she started doing that, believe me or not, she is now getting almost every week a deal closed. I told her, look, you have to plant those things within members. You have put in all members in one uh, plate. You have to cook. You have put the corns in the same situations. But then they becoming popping one after each other. And now she is enjoying her journey in BNI. Thank you again, Narayani. All to you now. Thank you so much. Lovely share. I think many of you touched upon this all together about having a system. So why BNI has existed for 36 years is because we have a system, we refine it, we have our tradition, we have our innovation, and then we follow the system. And we have great leaders like you helping us to educate members to follow the system. You did make me hungry now thinking about food, but not hunger for food, but hunger for more business. Right, so many useful takeaways, so much discussion happening. I've noted each of these points down. So I'm going to use each and every one of your tips. Having said that, I still want to pick your brains one last time for some key takeaways that we would like to share with our participants. Those who may have missed part of the section or may have joined late or were not listening properly. Maybe we don't know, it was very interesting. So I listened to each and every word, but let's start with you, Dr. Bilal itself on what would be your key takeaway to a member, to a potential member and a visitor today who doesn't know anything about BNI, but still would like to hear how BNI can help you to achieve your success and scale up your business. So go ahead, Dr. Bila. We start with the question, do the BNI exist? The BNI doesn't exist because of having a logo. BNI is not about application called BNI Connect. BNI doesn't exist because BNI business builder. BNI doesn't exist because we have weekly meeting, weekly presentations, one to one, and so on and so forth. We have to live the BNI. We have to build the culture. So once we build the culture of giving, the culture of BNI, then BNI come to the reality. I'm not claiming that I am the most giver the best being higher, but I'm in my approach to build my own culture through the being I and to be a true being higher. That's what I have to with me today to build the culture. Thank you so much. Lovely to hear that because it's not just about the systems, the processes, it's the people because culture originates among people and how we build that up. Mansoor, what is your takeaway for us today? So many uh, already in the session, but still some more we want to dig deep. Go ahead. Thank you so much. As mentioned at the beginning, you know, I am serving as the president of BNA Winners Chapter. And my motto is that everyone helps everyone. We're all members, gets enough and more business. And also to increase membership, at least by 25% of uh, the strength by end of our term. Currently, not just to claim, but then I've been fortunate to be one of the lead givers in the chapter. But 40% of the total TYFCB was through me. And I'm saying I'm fortunate to be that giver. I'll keep continuing my giving and strive to get back for what I give to my members. I wish to see self-motivated team members in our chapter where each and everyone takes the lead by themselves by gaining the best through their membership without peer pressure from the LT. I dream of a BNI where people come wholeheartedly for themselves, understanding the value of BNI. 
even after my presidentship, I would definitely be around to mentor new members and help everyone, not limited to winners, but to our region. Thank you for having me and hope I've had it some value to the listeners. Narayan. Thank you so much, Mansoor. It's a, such a great uh, takeaway from the session where you mentioned that you will continue to do this. It's a continuing thing, whether you are a president, whether you are a, a DC, you are a launch DC, whatever position you may occupy, you will convert uh, uh, members, uh, visitors into members potentially. You will work with them to mentor them and so on and so forth so that the culture that Dr. Bilal mentioned is developed further. So wonderful segue to that. Let's move on uh, to Shabir. So, what key takeaways do you want to leave our audience today with? Thanks, Narani. So, like, uh, I'm sure after joining BNI, this platform became one of my main focus to build my business. I am actually restructuring the business the way BNI gets. And I'm adding more resources to take care of uh, my scale up demands. I'm also doing maximum one to ones and trainings on how to effectively utilize BNI to grow my business. As we learn in advanced one-to-one -one trainings, it's very important to get at least five referrals, at least from each member. So if one chapter having like uh, our chapter uh, having 43 members, but if we consider like a 40 member chapter, you can have 200 clients to work with. Like if I am sure a one-to-one -one with one member can assure you at least five best customers of them to you. The more members are joining to BNI, the more you will get customers. So I encourage I encourage all members to do one-to-ones and get at least five best customers of them. So one other thing I would like to specify is BNI is not for educating the members on the products and services. BNI is to educate the members what type of customers a member is looking for. I'm sure if the member utilize BNI in an effective way, at least at least the worst case, 25% of their business can be through BNI. And here I am in both saying BNI is not the platform to sell to the room. It's a platform to sell through the room. The more the member educate their peers, the more business in return will be generated. I suggest all members to do maximum trainings and do one-to-ones and also practice the givers game. In other way, practice all core values of BNI which will of course boost the business. I'll be doing more one-to-ones and educating members as a support and generate business because you asked what will be the uh, things I will be taking care. So in this way, in my BNI journey, I like to grow my business and also support others to grow their business. Thank you very much, Narani, and also BNI for giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So a lot of key takeaways of selling through the room, not to the room, uh, follow the education uh, segments. So I'm really happy you said that because I'm doing some of these segments now. So I'm going to see a lot of new members coming in for training for sure. Thank you for that. Uh, and let's move on to Ayman. So Ayman, you had a lot of interesting stories and insights. So what key takeaways do you want to leave the members with today? Uh, how much time we, we have left? We do have a couple of minutes. Please go ahead. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, again, dear panelists, dear participants, dear BNI members, it is very essential in BNI to evolve between the goal and between the tool. Everybody, they believe that growing our business is the goal. And I tell you, I'm telling you proudly, it is not the goal. You are mistaken. The goal is not growing your business. Growing your business is a tool. Your goal and my goal and everybody's goal in being I is to give and only giving. Give more than expected and give more without expectation. Let's go together, being I members, from only feeling that we are proud being I member. Let's go for a next level and be a loyal being I member. 
We want loyal BNI member. It is very simple. It's very simple to succeed. Believe in BNI. If you believe in BNI, close your eyes and do BNI and remember my first deal, the hundred US dollar. And today, from that deal, I reach one million US dollar through BNI Royals. Thank you, BNI Royals. Thank you, Mohammed Shabib. Thank you, Narayani. Back to you. Thank you so much. So just close your eyes and do BNI. Right? I'm not, I'm sure we are not infringing any copyright by saying do it, just do it, you know, the Nike logo, but no, but I think this is a genuine reflection. Just close your eyes and do BNI. Thank you so much, Ayman. That's a wonderful share. Bibu, over to you. Last but not the least, I would love to hear from you before we end this panel discussion. Thanks a lot, uh, Narayani. But before I start, Mr. Ayman, if you want to print some of the $100, $100 bill, please pass by. Uh, we can share a referral as well. <laughs> we can do that. Well, actually, my journey with BNI started off a year back in June of 2020. By September of September 2020, I became the vice president of my chapter. In April 2021, I took up the lead visitor uh, host role, and now I have also accepted the role of support ambassador for the region. Why I'm trying to say this is all these roles and exposures has uh, has very much helped me in in sharpening my capability, knowledge, and experience, which would have not happened otherwise, otherwise or, or would would have taken many years to complete. Uh, we all have joined BNI with the primary idea of growing our business. We have to accept it. It is also true that BNI does not guarantee you any growth or profit. It's all in your hands on how best you make use of the whole system. BNI is a platform uh, that is primarily designed to pass referrals a structured way. It's a system and we need to grow our way through it. Our success in BNI purely depends uh, on the efforts and how best we engage with it. I have some, sometimes heard, about, heard from people uh, who complain that they have not benefited out of BNI or they have not received any good business out of BNI or maybe BNI is not working well for them and so on. Well, in my opinion, I would simply say that the answer, we'll get the answers very clearly if we just look into their engagement chart. How many one-to-ones did, did they do? How many referrals did they pass uh, and so on? BNI is a place for consistency and givers not for matches who would, uh, you know, who would wait till they get a business and then think of giving one back to someone. And it's definitely not, for, not a place for takers who only believe in getting business from others. Thank you. Over to you, Narayani. Thank you so much, Bibu. I think what comes to mind with what you have just mentioned is that BNI is a place for those who believe in farming and not hunting, right? Because when you farm, it takes a little bit of effort. You have to put in the seeds, you have to prepare the soil and wait for it, not That's go right. and hunt and kill those animals, as we put it. So here we are, have the farmers and we are continuously building up the base. Thank you again. Um, I hope uh, the attendees can also share some of the great takeaways, but I would like to summarize a few of the takeaways for myself. So believe in BNI, believe in the culture. The systems are in place. You just need to follow it. Close your eyes and do BNI. Uh, there is a lot of education happening. So absorb it, uh, imbibe it, and use it in your personal life as well. Step up to a leadership role because there's no other better way to help others than through being a leader and helping them develop the culture and the knowledge. Last but not the least, be engaged, be energized, and BNI will do wonders for you. I'm sure there are so many more uh, takeaways, but I just wanted to focus and leave you with these last thoughts as we end the panel. 